I wonder if you've ever had to make a really, really difficult decision. A decision that's had benefits on both sides. This could be going to a restaurant for dinner and choosing between two very nice restaurants. Or it could be going on holiday to two destinations where both have distinct benefits of going to them. And that's how we start our next instalment in 21 Days in Philippians and Prayer with a big dilemma. Let me read out verses 23 to 24. It says, I'm torn between the two. I desire to depart to be with Christ, which is better by far. But it is more necessary for you that I remain in the body. Now we see that this is a very big question, isn't it? And both have very distinct benefits along with them. The two options are staying on earth to be with Christ's people to help um, in his plans. And the other is to go to heaven to be with his father and his saviour. Now Paul is well aware that his time on earth is very much limited and is but a fraction of our eternal life to look forward to. And the dilemma we're faced with here is, be, is we want to be with Christ just like Paul does. Now that's not a bad thing by any means. To be with our saviour means an end to earthly suffering, to pain, to the ridicule, to imprisonment, to death. And we're called into his presence and glory to worship our father for all eternity. And as Paul is currently imprisoned for following Christ, he's not there for anything else, for any of his own doings, his personal failures or something out of the blue. He's there because he was telling the gospel. Now, for many of us, this situation just seems like the cost is just too high. We wouldn't go to those lengths for the gospel. We, we're, sometimes it's a shameful thing, isn't it? We don't want to be ridiculed for the gospel. But there was a God-given reason for Paul being in prison. Though it didn't make it any easier for him to endure, the benefits were staggering. We see this throughout the letters, many letters of the New Testament, where Paul was evangelizing the surrounding nations, especially in Rome, and many of his other letters to churches in the surrounding area. See, God's plan was to use Paul to build others up, including himself, to get him to specific places, to build his church. Paul's faith was firmly in Christ. He knows the work that's been set out for him to do is a God-given work. Not an earthly work for his own glory, but a God-given work for God's glory. He knows that it's more important than himself. It's for the family of believers. And our section closes with the stating of his experiences, both good and bad are all bringing glory to Jesus Christ. I'll just read out verse 26 for us now. It says, so though my being with you again, your boasting in Christ Jesus will abound on account of me 